but I also had diabetes, which complicated the treatment and complicated the recovery from the effects of the chemotherapy and the radiation. And one of the things that happened to me was that I got neuropathy in both my feet and my hands, and that was due to both the diabetes and the radiation and chemotherapy. And basically my doctors told me, it, it reduced a little bit uh, after they took me off of the drug, but my doctors told me that I had what I had, that it probably wasn't going to go away. And I didn't want to take that as the final word on what I could do to help with my own healing. So I sought out acupuncture and that helped. And then a friend of mine came here to um, In Light for Life and told me about her remarkable success uh, for, I believe rheumatoid arthritis was the, was the original uh, diagnosis. So I decided that I was gonna try it. Uh, it was not something that I would have sought out, ever sought out on my own. It wasn't anything that I knew anything about. So I did some research, found out that yes, there was uh, neuropathy was considered something that the oxygen therapy and the lights could help. So I've had 24 sessions now, and I can say that the neuropathy has reduced. It's not completely gone, not yet, but it is better than it was, much better than it was. I combined my sessions with acupuncture, and that helped a lot with my hands. I've had a lot of MRIs in the last few years because of the, of the cancer. And I looked at that chamber and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna be claustrophobic in there. It's gonna be loud and I'm gonna be claustrophobic and I'm not gonna be able to do it. Mm -hmm. So you guys helped me out, let me get in there, uh, you know, kept, the, kept it open so that if I needed to get out quickly, I could. Just it, yeah. But I found that, especially once it's inflated, it is really comfortable on the inside. It is not loud and I was not claustrophobic in the least. In fact, there's quite a lot of room to move around. Mm -hmm. So if anybody is, is concerned looking at the a chamber about claustrophobia, don't be, because I, I'm here to say that it's not as bad as it looks. Yeah. I look forward to coming here every day and I really look forward to getting in and relaxing and I really look forward to the way I feel when I get out mm -hmm. because it's so, well, I think I've mentioned, used the words before, you just have this overwhelming sense of wellness that, you know, and getting out, standing up, it's just like, boy, I really feel good. And for so long with the chemotherapy and all that other associated things that goes with it, I just felt lousy for so long that it's really nice to be able to think, hey, I feel good. Mm -hmm. That's not something that, that I've had for the last, well, it's been almost two years now. Right. Um, so it's worth, it's worth the time spent, absolutely. Well, we're so happy you came in. Oh, I'm really happy, happy that I came, <laughs> happy that I came in too. Um, I would not be where I am right now if I had not come here. 